The left arm is reaching up and over that left ear. Inhale, back to center, reach up. Exhale, left arm to left side. Right arm or right ear. Couple breaths. Nice. From here, I actually want you to take that right arm, take the hand and press down into that inner right thigh. So you're kind of pressing that right side down into the floor and let the head fall over to the left side. Really let the head hang. You're facing forwards, that left ear is hanging down towards that left shoulder. Push into the left hand, lift up, and just switch the other side, right forearm down. Left palm presses into the inner left thigh. Hang the head over to the right, right ear towards the right shoulder. Breathe here, press into the thigh. Press into the right hand, lift back up. Nice. Lift the knees up, feet to the floor. Our hands are gonna go behind us, fingertips pointing away from us. Press into the hands, lift up the hips and slide the hips forward. Start to bend the elbows a little bit, so make sure you can bend the elbows a little bit here. If you can't, bring the hips back a little. But if you can, maybe slide them forward a little more. You can walk the feet a little closer towards the front. Take an inhale. On an exhale, drop the knees to the left. You can take this moment to explore a little bit of stretching in the neck. Maybe chin goes towards your chest. Maybe make little circles. Inhale, knees back to center. Knees to the right. You should feel a nice opening in the shoulders, particularly the left shoulder right now. If not, start to bend the elbows a little more. Again, explore the neck here, turn the chest a little bit, or make a big circle with the neck. Inhale, knees back to center. Now this may be where you cap out, you're done here, in terms of how deep it is for you. Otherwise, maybe you're going even deeper, sliding the hips further forward. Inhale, bend the elbows. Knees cross over towards the left, but this time we're lifting up that right foot, crossing the foot over the left knee, even deeper. Maybe start to feel a little tingly here. Stay with me. Uncross, knees lift, inhale. Knees to the right, lift up the left foot, cross it over that right knee. Whew. Take a few breaths. Nice, uncross, feet to the floor, knees up. Press to the hands and the feet, lift the hips, slide them back. Whew. Come into an easy seat. Just kind of feel what's going on in your arms all the way to your fingertips. Maybe you feel those little tingles. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away from your face. Whew. Round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, open the chest, lift the arms. Exhale, press the palms forward, round the spine. Whew. Inhale, lift up, open chest. Exhale, round spine, arms forward. <sighs> Release the hands, fingertips of the floor, but palms facing away from you. So your elbows come in towards each other. Underneath of your elbows, flip up towards the sky. Fingertips of the floor. Start to press the wrists down towards the floor. Your thumbs don't have to be on the floor. Start to bend the elbows. Gently just pressing the wrists down into the floor. Breathe here. Maybe you close your eyes to really feel the pose. Two more deep breaths. Nice. Lift up, round those wrists out, make little circles in one direction and the other direction. Nice. From here, we come onto tabletop, hands and knees pose. 
This is when it starts getting exciting. So we're starting in normal tabletop position. Do a couple calf cows, inhale, dip the belly, look forward. Exhale, press and round. Inhale, bend the elbows as you do this here. Press and round. Straighten the arms. Inhale, cow, bend the elbows, look forward. And last time, round the spine. Come to neutral spine. Walk the hands out a little more in front of you, or maybe the knees go behind, depending on how much room you have. So from here, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, shift the shoulders over the wrist. So it's kind of, we're in a modified plank here with the knees down. Inhale to stay. Exhale, press back into a child, but don't get too comfortable. Keep the toes tucked. Inhale, modify plank, slide forward. Start to feel it in the core a little bit. I know it's a quote, easier pose, but see if you can feel your abdomen working even in this pose. Inhale, exhale, slide back. Inhale, slide forward again. Now from here, I wanna take it a little further. Modified chaturanga. We're just gonna do a little modified push ups. So we're gonna right back up. Inhale, stay. Exhale, chest lowers. <sighs> Inhale, back up. And slide back. <sighs> Inhale, come back to modified plank. Exhale to modified push up. <sighs> Inhale, back up. Exhale, press back a little faster. <sighs> Inhale, modified plank. Exhale, down. Inhale, press and back. One more round. Inhale, modified plank. Exhale, lower. <sighs> Inhale, lift. And come into a full child's pose. Wide knee, closed knees, doesn't matter. Forehead comes down towards the floor or a block. Your arms can reach forward or they can reach back or balasana a little more of a comfier version of child's. Take three or four breaths here. We rock the forehead left and right a few times on your mat. Maybe you find your intention today. I personally don't usually set an intention because sometimes it distracts me from my breath. But maybe your intention is something, you know, maybe you're thinking of a family member. Maybe you're thinking of you know, all those people out there working hard. Maybe you're thinking just of breath and focus. Come back up to tabletop pose. And from here, I'm gonna slide the knees back a little further once again, and just lower the chest and belly down, press into cobra pose, back bend. Whew. Maybe you start to wiggle the hips, loosen up the hips, lower back. Press into the hands. That's what the energy is right now in the hands. Open the chest. Try not to let the shoulders come up towards the ears here. There is a, a time and a place for this kind of cobra. It's seal pose and yin, where you're supposed to let the shoulders come up. But here, we're activating the arms. We're activating the triceps. And we're just loosening the lower back. Wiggle it out a couple times. Three breaths to stay. Maybe stillness. Hug the elbows in towards the torso. Nice, tuck the toes, press into tabletop. Tuck the toes to downward dog. Whew, my hands are already sweating. Pedal out the heels a few times. This is the time normally in a yoga class where I would stop what I'm doing and walk around. <laughs> but now I have to do all the yoga, it's so different now. Okay, we'll all do it together. Press into the hands, pedal out the heels. Make the feet wide, as wide as the mat, maybe wider depending on how tall you are. The toes kind of point in a little bit, a little pigeon toed here. Walk the hands back about a foot and a half towards the feet until your heels kind of touch the floor. Now you're gonna take your left hand and grab the outer right ankle or shin. Look underneath that right elbow, underneath the right armpit. 
Let the head dangle down. Press into that right hand. Lower down the left, switching sides. You grab the outer left ankle or shin with the right hand. Look underneath that left armpit. Maybe you check to see if you remember to put deodorant on today. Who cares? We're all alone in our houses, right? Do whatever you want. Lower down the hand. Other side, repeat. Grab the outer right ankle or shin with the left hand. But this time I want you to bend into that left knee a lot here. Maybe straightening and bending. And release the left hand. Again, switch sides for the final time. Grab the outer left ankle or shin with the right hand. Start to bend the right knee and straighten a couple of times. I love this pose. I think I said this last time. I just love it so much. It's a great twist. Come back for your downward dog. Step the feet close together. Touch the big toes. Walk the hands back out. It's so a big toes touch in your regular downward dog. Inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, big exhale, release the heels down. <sighs> Inhale, lift. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Heels lower. <sighs> Final time. Inhale, lift. And exhale. <sighs> Press into the left foot, lift the right. One legged downward facing. Draw the knee in towards the chest. Step the foot all the way through the hands. Make sure that left foot can come out a little to the left here. You don't have to be on a tight rope. You can be more on railroad tracks, as they would say in the yoga world. Lift up the arms. Find your stability. First standing pose of the night. Arms are strong, facing forward. Lower the shoulders down to keep the arms nice and strong. Even the fingertips are energized. Start to lower that left knee a little bit towards the floor. Make sure that right knee is tracking over that right ankle. It's not going forward over it, but it's staying above it. Lowering that left knee a little more. Hands come to heart center. And we're gonna twist over to the right. Twisted lunge. Really bring energy into that back left leg. Press into the back of that left knee. Get that nice strong left leg. If you want to open the arms, you can open the arms. You can let that right hand, the palm come down to your lower back, just as a nice resting place. Lift the right arm back up, hands to heart center. We're going to come through back to regular lunge and then open up for warrior two, land that back leg. Roll out the wrists. Inhale, straighten the leg, lift the arms. Ah, come back over your two. Inhale, lift and straighten. Exhale, warrior. Twice more, inhale, reach. Exhale. And inhale, reach. Exhale, warrior two. Flip the right palm, left arm comes down your left leg, reverse your warrior. The left hand can come down that left leg. Everyone always says, don't touch the knee, don't touch the knee. Maybe you don't slide that kneecap around your hand. I mean, if you gently press your hand on the knee, you're not gonna cause any major damage as long as you don't have pre-existing injuries. Let the right forearm come down to left, the right thigh. Left arm over left ear. Look down towards your right toes. Line the foot with both hands. Tuck the back right toes and step the right foot back. Take your first vinyasa of the night. High to low push up. <sighs> Upward facing or cobra. And to downward facing. <sighs> I know that's a lot of work. You guys, I know, are doing great out there. I saw a couple of you doing it really nice. Bring the toes together behind you, other side, lift the left leg. Whew. Draw the knee into chest. Step the left foot all the way through. 
prepare for lunge, so maybe heel to the left foot a little more towards the front left point of your mat. Lift the arms, lunge. Strong arms, energized fingertips, pressing into the feet. Inhale to stay. Exhale, lower that right knee down a little bit. Again, I'm making sure that left knee is before the ankle or right above it. Hands come to our center. Twist to the left, twisted lunge. This tends to be where a lot of people fall, myself included. So if you're over there at home, falling on the floor, no judgment. Maybe you like to open the arms. Maybe you like to close them again. Or do the same thing like we did before. You can take the left palm, place on the lower back. We're getting ready to do our regular lunge, face forward. Whew, that's where I fall. And then open up warrior two. Inhale, reach up, straighten the left leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach and straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, warrior. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, warrior. Right arm down your right leg, flip the left palm reverse. <sighs> and slide right into side angle pose, left forearm to left thigh, right arm over right ear. Nice open chest. Facing the right side of your room. Again, these right fingertips and left fingertips are energized. It's good to bring energy into all ends of your body no matter what you're doing in your pose, unless it's a passive pose, which this is not. Look down at your left toes. Let the hands come down to line the foot, tuck the back right toes, step the left foot back, high to low. <sighs> Inhale. Maybe through tabletop to downward facing. <sighs> From here, let's take a little break, lower the knees down. <sighs> Maybe the knees are wide, touch the toes together. Sink back towards the heels. Stay here in child's pose, take a few breaths. I was thinking the other day, wouldn't it be funny if we all came out of this quarantine like super jacked? I think that'd be the funniest thing. Slide through tabletop. Move the hips a little side to side. Maybe you feel the outer hips, see if they're tight. Just be aware of that. Nice. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, and walk the feet to hands. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Shake the head out no a couple times. You can bend the knees a lot here or a little. It's whatever is comfortable for you. Shaking the head no, nodding the head yes. You can interlace your fingers, stay in your forward fold behind your head. So right at the base of the skull. Interlace your hands, just bring a little more weight into the head, just to really encourage it to hang down. Three breaths. Release the hands to floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, whew, forward fold. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up, press and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to heart center. And here, I want you to lift up the right knee. This is when I will definitely fall. I'm going to back up a little so you can see me. Lift the right knee up. Tilt forward and kick the right leg back. We're coming into warrior three. Honestly, one of my favorite balances. Because there's so many things you can do with the arms. You can keep your hands at heart center. You can reach back, palms facing the floor, airplane arms. You can do cactus arms next to your head. Ooh. You can fall like me. Take a breath and stay. Slowly come back up, lift the right knee up. I'm gonna face you. Ooh, did it. Inhale, reach the arms up. Keep that right knee lifted. I'm gonna marry you and change sides. And draw the elbows to knee. Ooh. Inhale, reach the arms. Elbows to knee. Inhale, reach. Elbows down. Three more times. Ooh. Maybe you hang on to your partner there. Inhale, reach. Touch. Inhale, reach. Touch. And reach. And touch. Nice. All you're going to do is lower that leg down. Shake it out. I don't know if I'm sweating because of this or because my heat is up too high. It's both. Nice. Other side. Inhale, reach the arms up. Let's do a little forward fold before we begin. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Sweep the arms up. Press your feet into the floor. Rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Tuck the tailbone underneath. Abs nice and strong. Press the hands together. Pressing into that right foot, lift the left knee, flex the left toes. As you swing the foot back, lean forward, slowly into your warrior three. Find something on the floor to look at. Your hands can stay at heart center, or they can come into airplane arms, or cactus arms, whatever you like here. Or you can do the full warrior three, pointing the fingertips forward. Maybe you stay, take another breath. Come back, lifting. Don't touch that left foot down yet. I'm gonna mirror you, so switch sides and face you. Left knee is lifted. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, elbows to knee. Inhale, reach. Elbows to knee. Inhale. Exhale. Three more times, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, final one, you can do this, inhale, reach, and touch. All you gotta do is lower the foot down, shake out both sides, whew, nice. Let's take the feet a little bit wide, just an inch or two wider than the hips. Inhale, lift the arms up, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. From here, grab that right wrist with left hand. Exhale, bend over to the left. Press into the feet. Try not to bring your back bend into this. You only want to do a side bend, so tuck the tailbone underneath. Stay for another breath. Inhale, back to center, reach up. Other side, grab the left wrist with the right hand, side bend over to the right. Again, tuck the tailbone. And I'll show you a side view. Let's see. So this is one way you can do it, and it's not very supportive of your back. That's what we don't want. We want to tuck the tailbone underneath, get nice and strong in the core. Take another breath to stay. Inhale, reach up. Other side again, grab the right wrist, left hand. Thigh bend to the left. But this time, instead of just reaching over to the side, I want you to release that wrist and let the right arm come in front of your chest. We're still reaching over to the left. We're gonna take that right, uh, left arm and grab the right arm, draw it in. Kind of pointing those right fingertips towards the back of the room.
Nice inhale, release arms up. Grab that left wrist with my hand, bend over to the right. Now release the wrist, let the arm come in front of the chest. Take the right arm and draw the left arm, pull it in towards the chest, pointing those left fingertips towards the back of the room. Another breath. Inhale, reach up, top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Step one foot back and the other for plank pose. You're finally getting to a little more of a vinyasa here. Shift the shoulders over the wrists, high to low, chaturanga. Inhale, slide through upward facing or cobra. Maybe just take a second here to wiggle side to side. Get out any kinks in the lower back. And maybe through tabletop, tuck the toes to downward facing. We stay for four breaths. Pressing the fingertips down into the floor. Heels are heavy. Shake the head out maybe. A couple more breaths. Nice. From here, we're going to take the right foot and step it forward to the right edge of the mat, top of the right edge of the mat. So we're going to heel to the right foot so the right arm is inside of that right leg. Everyone with me? Cool. So from here, we're going to keep that left knee lifted off the floor and bring a lot of energy into this pose. Pressing into the hands, spreading the shoulder blades, rocking a little forward and back. So you'll see that your heel, your back left heel is kind of pulsing forward and back as well. Just getting a little bit of flexibility in that left hip. Maybe it's stiff. Take a few breaths, shifting forward and back. From here, press into the hand, step the right foot back, plank pose, mm -hmm. left foot steps forward, Top left corner of your mat, same thing, but other side. Left arm is inside of that left leg and sliding forward and back. Right leg is strong. Take a few breaths. All right, stay with me here. Left foot steps back, stay in your plank. Right foot steps forward again, top right edge. We're gonna take that little prop. If you don't have a prop right now, that's okay. You can still use the floor. You can fold that left edge of the mat in once, or you can run and grab one of these kind of pillows from your couch or a block, okay? And that prop will go underneath that left knee because who doesn't love a little cushion under the left knee or at all? So from here, the left knee is down on your prop. If you prefer to bring another prop into this, you can bring it under your left hand, all right? So if you have a block or a book, you can take that block under your left hand. And you probably know where we're going with this. We're gonna look over the right shoulder and look behind us, reach with the right arm. Now it's up to you. We're gonna build up to a deeper quad stretch. You can stay here, reaching behind you. You can take that right hand, Fingertips pointing inside of that right thigh, press into the right palm and look behind you. Maybe you'll be able to give yourself a nice, comfortable, I get a little back crack from doing that. The good kind, not the aggressive kind. If you wanna go deeper with this pose, maybe you reach back again with the right arm, you bend the left knee, see if you can grab the foot or the heel. Take your time with this. If you can't do this right now, don't worry, this is a very tight pose for most people. It's kind of one of those things you have to do all the time to feel even a little comfortable with it. Nice and slow release that back left foot if you have it. Now from here, we're gonna lift the hips up, half split, hamstring stretch in that right leg, and just let the head hang down towards the right knee. Left knee is still comfy in the left, on the pillow. Take a few breaths.
Now from here, move your block aside, bring your hands over to the left side of the mat, bring the right toes down facing the left side of the room, tuck the back left toe, kind of looks weird right now, and then we're going to lift up that left knee, side bend facing the left side of the room. You can move your prop away, or maybe you want to let the head hang down towards the pillow. Maybe you find a little pillow rest here with the forehead. It's really up to you. Maybe you like to hang here with your hands down to the floor. I'm stuck. Or you can take your arms wide, grab opposite, or grab your right uh, ankle with your right hand, left ankle with left hand. Draw your chest down towards the floor. Look underneath your legs. Release your legs, move the prop to the side, walk your hands over to the right foot, point the right toes forward. We're gonna take a vinyasa or meet in downward facing. Right foot steps back, high to low. Upward facing or cobra. Exhale, Whew. downward facing. Stay here, take four breaths. Let's get something on my computer. So we're in downward dog. All right, this time the left foot steps forward. Outer edge of the left hand. Again, the right knee lowers down onto the pillow. Oh, so comfy. From here, you can have your hands just like this, or you can grab that block underneath the right hand. Yogi's choice. You're gonna start to look over the left shoulder and reach behind you with the left arm. Maybe adjust the pillow as needed. So it's right under that nice spot of the right knee. You can either stay here reaching back or take the left hand, press the palm on the top left thigh. So fingertips point inside, pointing down. Press into the hand and look behind you. Maybe you take it a step further, taking it to your quad stretch. Lifting the back right foot, grabbing it with your left hand. And breathing here. If you feel a pain in this pose, it's best to release this pose. Two more deep breaths to stay. And slowly release if you have it. Lift the hips. Bow the head down towards the left thigh. Left toes lift up, hamstring stretch. Head hip can hang down towards the left knee. Maybe take a big sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> no one's there to listen. Make as weird noise as you want to. Two more breaths to stay. Okay, so walk the left hand to the right side of that left leg, so inside the left leg. This is that weird kind of pose we're setting up for. Block, you move to the side. Left toes can touch the floor. Bend the left knee, tuck the back right toes, lift the hips. To that forward fold, we're facing the right side, but then we let the head drop down and we actually look through the legs. Hey. <laughs> you can grab op opposite shins or heels. Maybe you want to get crazy and get into your headstand, which I won't do right now. Again, only do these more challenging poses if your body is ready for it. Walk the hands over towards the left foot. Point the left toes forward. Step the left foot back, vinyasa. Or just downward facing, high to low. Upward facing or cobra. And to downward facing dog. Oh, pedal at the heels. Hmm. Let's see what kind of time we have right now. Nice. We got some time to do a few more things. All right, we're going to take the feet, walk them forward to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, forward fold. And then he's a lot, sit back, sweep up, chair pose, Ukatasana. Toes facing forward. You can always touch the knees and touch the big toes together. I personally like my feet to be parallel and turn my knees not to be touching. I think it engages my lower abdomen a little bit because when you touch the knees, I'll face you, when you touch the toes and the knees together, you're kind of bringing that energy down to the knees and leaning into it rather than engaging your muscles. Inhale, reach the arms up. Hands to heart center, twist to the left. Press your fingertips together here and your palms will lift up and away from each other. Maybe look up towards the sky over that left shoulder. Inhale back to center, reach up. Hands to heart center, twist over to the right. Fingertips press them together once again. Palms press away from each other. Look up over that right shoulder. Inhale, reach up. Stay Ukatasana. Get a little lower. A little bit lower now. An inch lower. Whew. Press up and stand. Nice, shake it out. All right. Let's do a standing balance pose because it's everyone's favorite pose to do. She said sarcastically. So you can either just do it in the middle of your mat, in the middle of your room, you're feeling bold. If you do have a wall to lean on, go for it. Who cares? Use your wall. I'm just gonna move my um, Instagram so people can see. So I'm gonna use my wall because sometimes when I have stage fright, I don't balance very well. So we're gonna start just by lifting up or actually let the right arm drop by your right side, palm facing away from you. So we're facing the wall. Right palm down by your side, facing away. Lift up the right foot, grab it with your palm. Reach out, grab the wall. You want it to be a little further away than just reaching and touching it. So if you already can touch it just by reaching your arm out, maybe take a step back. Grab the right foot. Ooh. And from here, kick the foot into the hand. Start to lift. Lean into the wall. If you got it. If you don't, Great job balancing. There's different reasons why you use the wall and why you wouldn't. This is more of an opportunity to practice lifting the foot without having to worry about falling. So keep pressing the foot up into the sky. Maybe you take your standing leg, you bend it, and you find a moment of peace, solitude. You see Buddha under the tree because you balance. Lower the right knee, switching sides. Nice, I can see some of you doing it, nice job. Again, left hand reaches down, palm facing away from you. Bend the left knee, grab the uh, left foot. Lean forward, start your dancer pose. Press the left foot into the air, into the foot. Let the chest come down a little. I do let my standing leg get straight, that's comfortable for me. So if that's not comfortable, comfortable for you, give a nice bend to that right standing leg. Maybe let's all do a little bend and see if we can find some balance. Slowly start to stand, lower the left foot. Ah, shake it out. Come all the way down onto your bums. And we are gonna do a little bit of crunches today because I would be doing you a disservice if we didn't do a little more abs today. We did a lot of thigh work, a lot of quads, All right? So we're just gonna do some regular crunches more or less. If you'd like to have a block between the thighs, you can have a block between the thighs. Flex the toes up towards the sky. Knees more or less at a 90 degree angle. Interlace the hands underneath the head. And let's do 15, lifting up for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and hold it for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. <sighs> Wiggle the knees side to side. <sighs> 
We're doing another round of the same thing. Go ahead, lift the legs up, flex the feet, change the interlace of your hand just to get a different kind of feel in the hands here. And 15, begin one, two, three, four, five little pulses, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and five, four, three, two, one, hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower it down. <sighs> now we have a couple more sets to do, but not that same thing. Take a breath, let the knees fall left and right. You're all thinking, oh God, what is it gonna be? It's gonna be more or less the same thing, but instead of doing the crunches to the chest, we're gonna lift the hips up a little, and kind of bring the hips to you, got it? So if you don't have something put between your thighs, this is one where it would be really helpful to have something. You can also just take your prop, if you have your pillow, bring it between the thighs, something to squeeze, something to draw your energy in. Interlace your hands. So go ahead, watch me do the first one. Lifting the hips up and in. All right, so 15 for one, two, three, four. Try to choose momentum. Five, six, seven, eight, whew, nine, and ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one, lower the feet, take a breath. One more set and I promise that's it for abs today. <sighs> Lift the feet, let's get these done. And rock the hips up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, more than halfway there. Nine, ten, only five more. Five, oh, four, three, oh, two, and one. Lower the feet, remove the block or the prop. <sighs> Knee side to side. <sighs> Let the knees fall all the way over to the left. Let that right foot cross over the left knee. Take a line twist. Your left hand come on top of that right thigh. Reach the right arm over to the right side. Cactus arm are reaching and look over towards the right hand. Knees back to center. Give them a nice squeeze. Knees fall over to the right. Let the right uh, left foot cross over the right knee for a deeper stretch. Reach the left arm to the left side. Right palm can touch the outer left thigh, just encouraging a deeper stretch. Look over towards the left hand. Deep breaths. Now, I know it's just about time to be done, but I want to do one more pose before we end because it feels so good after the abs. Hug the knees and the chest. If it feels good, you can rock up. Bring the feet behind you. We're coming onto our belly for Sphinx pose. It's not an active pose, I promise. It'll feel nice. So Sphinx pose, it's kind of like how you would watch TV as a kid. You know, you're kind of watching TV on your belly. You know, comfy. But instead of that, you know, let the legs come down, forearms down on the floor, palms on the floor. Elbows under shoulders. So you're gonna press down actively into the hands and forearms. And then you're gonna draw the elbows in towards the belly. You'll feel a little bit of sliding your belly forward. You'll feel an elongating of the lower spine. You feel your abdomen stretch out a little bit. So this is an opportunity to bring a little bit of an active pose into this, pressing into the elbows, both down and drawing the elbows towards the back of the room. And then now we're gonna make it yin. Make it in. Make the elbows a little further away towards the front of the mat and let the shoulders sink up towards the ears. Let the head hang down, chin to chest. Shake it out. Nice. 
Lift the head back up. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Press up the tabletop. And just walk the feet forward. Come onto your backs. Just about time for Shavasana, believe it or not. Take your final pose. Maybe you like your child's pose. Always a nice hip opener. Maybe you want to do a lying figure four. Crossing one foot over the other thigh, interlacing underneath the right thigh, other thigh, flexing the feet. Maybe you want to end with more action and you want to do a bridge pose to finish up. I always love bridge, really elongates the spine, bringing a little bit of power into the glutes. Maybe like plow pose, one of my favorites to finish up with. If that feels good for your neck, plow pose is nice. It's when you bring your feet up towards the sky and then behind you, you can stop here. You can press the arms down. Or maybe you can see if the toes touch the floor behind you. Maybe they touch the wall. Just be careful of the neck. Find your way all the way down. Laying all the way down. Preparing for your Shavasana, you can take your blocks underneath the knees. That always feels nice. One or the other. I'm gonna come up and you stay in your Shavasana. Inhale, fill the lungs with air. Hold the breath in. Maybe the shoulders feel tight. Maybe you feel a little tightness in the brows. Hold it in, but when you exhale, release all of that tightness in the face and the shoulders. Go ahead, release. Feel your face melt down, relax. Releasing any tension in the forehead, brow, jaw. Almost like your eyelids might even open. You're so relaxed. Tension's released in your shoulder. Let your body fall toward the earth and feel the earth rising up to meet you. You hear all the sounds surrounding you. Maybe your pets, your kids, maybe you hear traffic outside. Maybe it's totally silent. Take a minute to take in the sounds, lack thereof, whatever you hear. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. Go ahead and roll onto one side of your body. Take a breath. And find your way to a seat nice and slow. Just an easy seat, Sukhasana. Bring your hands down to knees or thighs, palms can face up or down. Their eyes gently open. Just bring a little smile to your face. You feel a sense of gratitude. I know that times are really interesting right now, but see if you can look for that silver lining. Use this time to take care of yourself, and to reach out to your loved ones, remind them that you're there. You can reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Light and dark in me, loves and ours, the light and dark in you. Namaste. 
I wish I could unmute it before I say that. I'm gonna unmute you now. I'm sweating my ass off. Unmute all. I un unmuted all of you. I can hear all the music. Oh, yes. Oh. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. There's so many of you. Oh my God. I won't take a screenshot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a couple so announcements. I see so many faces I know. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, thanks so much for coming and tuning in. I, as you may have heard at the beginning, unless you joined a little late, um, which is fine. Um, I added a Sunday class to the weekly virtual stuff. So it'll be Sundays as well, but at 4.30 to 5, wait, yeah, 4.30 to 5.15. So it's earlier. Um, that being said, if you want a personal class, just me and you or your household and me virtually like reach out tina at blackwoodyoga.com and I, we can set up like a special class for you um if you do want to donate to this class it's a suggested donation of five dollars unless you're out of work right now please don't feel pressured to donate anything if you can't like i don't want you to do that so but if you can if you want to um venmo is uh blackwood yoga the last four digits of my cell is eight nine two four for s uh, or you can PayPal, Tina at BlackwoodOyoga.com. And just make sure you do friends and family because they, they charge you a fee if you don't. But yeah, and you know, a couple more things. If you want to sign up for my newsletter, I, I'm sending out more info about like these kind of classes. You can go to my website and on the front page, you can subscribe to email updates. Um, that's one way to keep in touch. And I also came out with new clothes. As you can see, I have this leopard design. Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of colors online if you want to check it out. Um, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. I super appreciate all 45 of you today. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thanks so much. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye. 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 And let me know if you want a special playlist. Bye. I can kind of custom make you a playlist if you tell me what you like. Ooh, nice. Bye, guys. Bye.